That's right, guys. Today, we're going to be working with some snails. Now, I already know what you're thinking. Woo! It's going to be delicious. And I agree. I know in Japan, sometimes they serve it on top as sushi. And in Vietnamese, they put it in a soup as well. But today, we're going to put it in a salad in a very tangy and spicy Korean dressing sauce. And it pairs beautifully with a cup of beer. It's bar food. All right? It's Friday. Guys, let's have some fun. To be more specific, these are si whelk, W-H-E-L-K. In Korea, we call them korbeng e. And in Korea, we like to use these canned versions. They just pluck them out of the shell and then they vacuum them immediately. You can also use the fresh one, but good luck finding whelks. The inside looks something like this. Don't panic. Not everything can look beautiful. But don't toss this out yet. We're going to use a couple of scoops of it later. And these guys are big. We don't want that much snail in one bite. So I'm gonna just cut these into smaller pieces. And for most, eating sea whelk is probably out of your comfort zone. But uh, hang tight and uh, and learn. And and here are the ingredients for our delicious salad today. I want a lot of colors. We start off with half an onion. Just make thin slices. Next, we have a cucumber, arm's length. Cut it in half first. And then just make a slight angled cut. Uh, spring onion, another forearm piece. A couple layers of purple cabbage. One leaf is about the size of my hand. I'm using four layers. Then we have a carrot. Let's make an L as in lion. We'll just measure up to here and we'll use this part. Cut this in half. This is genip in English. Another term for it is sesame leaf or shishito leaf in Japan. So they're green on top. They have a little bit of purple on the back like this. And give this guy a taste. And it has a very herbal taste. And I'm using around 12 leaves. We're gonna just tear off the tips, pointy side up, and pretend like you're in Cuba and we're gonna just roll baby just roll just make cuts and then just let them dance all right guys a fourth cup of gochujang Korean red chili paste don't be picking anything with that then we're gonna do a fourth cup of sugar and then a fourth cup of vinegar white apple cider anything's cool so this is all one to one to one ratio then let's give this a mix might be a little bit tough and to this, we're going to add one tablespoon of minced garlic. And from the can, you have some of the juices that the sea whelks were in. One tablespoon, two tablespoons in. It just adds a layer of umami. Let's bring this up to boil. These are the noodles we'll use. It's called somyeon. These are thin wheat noodles. We use this in the Korean banquet noodles or the Korean mixed noodles. All right, so these guys are very thin. Hiya! Something like the size of a quarter or maybe that's a nickel. So that's one. And that's two. And while the water's coming up to boil, fill a cup with some cold water. I'll show you why later. And once it comes to boil, let's put our noodles in. All right. All right. And you're going to see that this is going to come up to a boil. All right. Then we're going to add some water. And we're going to do that two more times. So a total of three times. That's one. All right. No. The last time it comes up to boil, we're going to just grab it. All right, and then just rinse under cold water and just grab a little and give a taste. It should be very soft and fully cooked through. So typically we just use the raw noodles and we mix it in with the salad, but I like to dress it up a little bit. So after you get rid of all the water, we're going to put in one tablespoon of soy sauce, one tablespoon of sesame oil, tablespoon of sesame seeds. Let's just give it a toss with your hands. All right, so something like this. All right, guys, and now our entire veggie platter in. Then let's put in our sea whelks. Gochujang sauce in. Oh, yeah. You don't have to put all of it in. I know I like it spicy, so I'm most likely going to use all of it, but save a little bit. All right. Oh, and it just smells amazing. And most Koreans like to see a bright red. And so for the color, we save one tablespoon of gochugaru for the end. So pour it over the top like this, and then mix that in. There is your fresh salad right in the middle oh yeah I'm gonna grab a little bit twirl it around like pasta put it down set it down top off with some sesame seeds 
and tada, I present the golbengi muchin. So each person gets a stack of noodles. There's the red cabbage, cucumber, carrot, sea welk, everything in harmony here. All right, so Daniel, how do we eat this? Well, we're gonna get one stack of noodles, then get some of that golbengi muchin, and you just mix it together. It's kind of like a mixed cold noodle. Oh, but we're missing one thing. Of course, my friend. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice. We need a nice pour. Ah. Sent from the gods. Fantastic. Mm. Try some of the kulbegi. Mm. So you might be curious about what sea whelk tastes like. To be honest, it doesn't taste like anything. It's more of that chewing texture. You got that, uh, that sauce that we made. It's spicy and it's tangy and you get the crunch of the cucumbers, the onions, the carrots. And it's just, uh, they're, they're playing ping pong with each other. They work well. It tastes so good. It's getting me going. I'm getting back in my groove. And uh, this is my idea of, uh, of a fun night out, you know, with my sea whelks. Peace, yo. <laughs>